Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we're here with episode 36 of Assassin's Creed Rogue. In the previous episode, we took on our final, technically five, legendary ships, if you count the, the fact that the last battle had three uh, in total. But we conquered the North Atlantic, we became master of the high seas with the Morrigan, and we finished up sequence six by uh, joining Haytham as we chased down Liam and Achilles down to where the precursor site was. Killed Liam and obviously Achilles was spurred, if not, you know, crippled when uh, Haytham shot him in the mic, which sets up the events of Assassin's Creed 3, obviously. And uh, we were given the task from Haytham to go on the hunt for the uh, for the box. Uh, obviously, it might take us a lifetime. I think that's probably going to link us back to our, ch our uh, adventures in Paris that we've been popping into. But uh, as the episode ended, we got pushed back out into Abstergo for one last outing. So, let us see what we're doing today. Down to the servers. To reward you for your services to me, I am granting you level 3 security access. From this point on, no doors will be closed to you. Yay! In the distant past, the assassins had a noble goal, that of peace. But over the centuries, that goal eroded into a far more dangerous one. Freedom. Shit. What's going on now? A minor setback. There! Just follow those lights and you'll be set. I promise, you won't die if you follow the bright lights. <laughs> Why, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay. I haven't steered you wrong yet, have I? Follow the lights. Just chill, chill, chill. Check out this tablet first. So it should be number 17. It is 17. Nikolai Orlov. I think this is the protagonist of Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia. Um, I'm not even certain, I've not actually played that one yet. I do have it installed on my uh, PS4, but... The Assassin Brotherhood still exists today, and they remain dedicated to their foolish cause. I am a Templar Knight. I protect the world from the Assassins. Yes, we know that. Today, you have helped me to fulfill this role. Please, restore the servant. Well, we're going to time about this, so you're going to have to wait. And number 11, Cesare Borgia. Oh, that cheeky bastard. <laughs> He's a rascal, isn't he? How do I... What am I doing? I'll go down this way. Alright, there it is. Going down. Okay. Oh, I'm buzzing in my ears. I don't like it. I don't like it. Ah, oh, great. Another one of these. Cause me nothing but grief. Hmm. Wasn't too bad. Right, consider yourself hacked, pal. Call it repaired. Otso Berg, the big star of the Anami training program. Show me what you've got, you arrogant prick. If you insist, Buster Cross. I believe that my training will soon be complete. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> What's so funny? I was wrong about you. You're not arrogant. You're just deeply fucking stupid. Oh. Your body, your mind, they're not yours anymore. You understand? All you have left are the voices. I don't suffer from your condition. My animus sessions were carefully... No, no, no! My voices are ghosts! Dead! So they can only ever say the same things over and over and over and over. But the ones in your head will never die. And they own you now. I am the Order's humble servant. You're not even a person anymore. You're a tool, a weapon, a plaything. 
We're done here. And in the glorious New World Order, there won't be any room for broken toys like us! Well, damn. It's Daniel Cross, isn't it? From um, AC3. Use that terminal to upload Shay's story to the Assassin Network. Alright, will do. Oh, yeah, we've got it. Zip him up. Okay, people. The modern day assassins are weak. It is only a matter of time before I catch the last of them and kill them. Yeah, I don't but think it's so. It's not enough for them to die. What happened in Haiti happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead next to your damned manuscript! Get him out of here. I want them to know how weak they truly are. And I want everyone to see them suffer. So on the day they finally meet me, they will welcome the death I offer them. She was right. Oh, he know. More than me, apparently. plan is in motion. I have no further demand to place upon you. However, Shay's story is not complete. I would ask that you see it through to the end. Uh-oh. What have we gonna done? <laughs> I am super impressed, Nopskull. You really came through for us. And yes, I am also a Templar. Have been for years. This is supposed to be a shock, because this it's been dropping the hints like the entire game. It's been very obvious. Okay, so we've got a few computers down here to hack, and another tablet down here as well, apparently. Okay. Uh, okay, let's try this door first. Look for that tablet. If you come across it, does it appear to be in this room? Nope. We do have a computer. Alright. There we go. Darn ye. Duncan Walpole rose to the ranks to become a master assassin. But he was restricted by a brotherhood which chose to send him across the ocean to the West Indies, rather than find a way to nurture his potential. Once there, Duncan attracted the notice of Loriano Torres, former governor of Cuba and Templar Grand Master. Through their correspondence, Torres offered a less violent way to achieve their mutual goals, by using precursor artifacts as a surveillance system, rather than the murders and scheming favored by the Brotherhood. Sadly, Duncan was killed by a pirate before the Templars could help him achieve his potential. Although Duncan's story does not have a happy ending, it clearly demonstrates that the Templars' highest goals of peace and order need not exclude personal success and achievement. Uh, just some, just some pirate, you know, no one important. Not like he was the father of one of your grandmasters. Is it, eh? Eh? Okay. Just try over another template, maybe? No. Just another computer. Alright. Wasn't too bad.
Sean Hastings was a university professor whose hobby was leaking Abstergo secrets. He was hours away from being killed by Abstergo when he was saved by Rebecca Crane, an assassin hacker. Since then, the pair have been inseparable, providing technical support for assassin field agents. Hastings and Crane infiltrated Abstergo Entertainment Montreal in late 2013, and were responsible for the theft of classified information. It is unclear if they planted the virus currently affecting the Helix servers, or if they merely left the door open for other hackers to exploit. Rebecca Crane's skills are not to be underestimated. She created the Animus 2.0, an assassin version of Warren Vidic's original machine. It appears that she was also largely responsible for establishing a new, more secure, assassin network. It would seem Crane and Hastings have been promoted within the Brotherhood. There are rumors that they are now leading some kind of hacker collective known as the Initiates, and attempting to lure them to the assassin side. Uh, those are my boys. All my, my lad and lass. There's only f uh, five more to go. That's not too shabby. Okay, so... Did them two. Just leaves these two. Uh, no one's gonna hurt um, my Rebecca and Sean. Those are my darlings. Oh, this one's not on. It's not on, I'm telling you. Okay. And neither is that one, apparently. Ah, but there's the tablet. Sweet. Okay, that's the last thing we've got to do down here. So, conspiracies. Okay. Cool. Got three more of those. Alright. Uh, I'll just have a look at the map. Yep. So we'll learn... Check out that camera once we're down here. Hack into that if we can. We can't. Okay, we shall not be hacking into the cameras. <laughs> but we won't be returning to the Animus, because that will put us into. There's still one last chunk of Shay's data left to explore. It's a bit of a trip, but I think you should see it. Yeah, that's basically the final memory of the game. We're not going to do that yet, we're going to head down to the lobby. Because now we've got our level 3 accessor, we can get a couple of computers and tablets down there. Okay. So, this one... Should be right at the bottom. But, hold on, let's just check, right, so, we still can't get in there, dude's still blocking the exit. I don't think we can hack the cameras in this game, I thought they just uh, copied the save, well, the, the map from Assassin's Creed 4, so the camera it's things still exist, it's just you can't actually get into them. But if we go into one of these rooms has a tablet, mm, now, we'll both of them have a computer, no? so we'll be going to both anyway. No. Just check in, definitely not in here. Alright, well, let's um, get on into this one. That was pretty easy. Alright, what's on this one? Box is live. Thorkin's picking off the stragglers as they escape. Good. Proceed to stage two. All points, the word is given. Stage two is a go. I repeat, stage two is a go. Get those doors down. Three, two. Adriano Maestranzi. I have come for you. What's he holding? Vittoria, ugly assassin. Bomb! Sigma team, anyone, do you copy? Oh, well. That's one way to go with style, isn't it? <laughs> okay. It's a beautiful turn-based RPG. Yay. 
Uh, oh, there's the tablet. Mm. Should be number nine, if I'm not mistaken. It is number nine. Robert de Saab. Well, we know who that is. The guy with the very strong French accent. I thought that was even French, but. <laughs> okay. Ignore me. Alright, let's get on to this one. Oh, blimey. That took some doing. <laughs> okay. What's on this one? This is a priority message to all Sigma Team operatives. Assassins have stolen an artifact from a Rotterdam storage facility. Rally point is at 51.887107 by 4.559017. Be there at 0600 local time. Stragglers will be put to death, so move it. Listen up, losers. There are two confirmed assassins operating in the city. Target number one is Harlan Cunningham, the only survivor of a cell in Florence that our fearless leader eradicated a couple of years back. He stole the precursor box and is on the run. Target number two has been identified as Aaron Shute, former MMA champion, and now Cunningham's disciple and lover. How romantic. He's running interference, murdering our Templar agents embedded in Abstergo facilities throughout the city. Sorkin, take Sigma team and go after Shoot. I will take down Cunningham myself and recover the artifact. I don't like the idea of you going alone, boss. I want to deal with him personally. Sigma team, maintain contact with Violet at all times. You have your orders. Sorkin, you dipshit! Don't engage him hand to hand! Pull your men back! Get some! He's got my gun! Sniper one, do you have a shot? Negative. He's using Sorkin as a shield. He's fair enough to burn! Take the shot! I hit Sorkin. He dropped a smoke bomb. I've lost visual. He's... He's gone. That's our cue. Pick up your sorry asses and get to the extraction point. Double time. Just... Just fucking kill me already. I had a dream about you. Ah, oh, that's sweet. But I'm with someone. In my dream, you never made it out of Florence alive. What can I say? I'm too stubborn to die. Hello, lover. Hercule! We can't leave the box behind. Fuck that! I killed half the Sigma team. Let's quit while we're ahead. See you in your dreams, Berg. <sighs> what a shit show. Compile the relevant parts of our audio logs and send them to Letitia England. Tell her this is exactly why she should be letting us hunt assassins. Okay, a bit of sass going on there from my assassin brothers. I like it, I like it. <laughs> okay, that is us done with this fly. I believe all we have to do now is head to the uh, Animus station. Uh, that floor, I should say. I think we were done with the um, CEO office. Uh, we went out there first time. I don't think there's anything we could have gotten. There's definitely no tablets up there. Let's go back to Helix Research. We've got another two rooms that should be open to us now. That were covered by a uh, level three door. So let's go ahead and check them out. Starting with you. There should be a tablet in both of these rooms. Let's just have a go. Let's have a meander. Okay, nothing in there. We can hack this anyway. Okay. It's a lot easier than that last one. But hey ho. Field report, Phoenix Project. November 1st, 2013. Agent DaCosta alerted me to a possible lead on the Koh Inor diamond. 
A replica can be found among the crown jewels of England. However, the true diamond is a powerful piece of Eden and has been lost for centuries. Jot Sura is a programmer at Mysore Tech, a company working with Abstergo Entertainment to release a variant of the Animus headset to Asia called the Brahman device. He's been associating with Shivam Dami, the sister of Jadseep Dami, a known assassin. Could the Brotherhood be using the Brahman device to locate the Kohinoor? Until we have more evidence, I have decided to use a local Abstergo strike force rather than mobilize Sigma team. Update, November 3rd, 2013. Jot Sura was abducted outside of Dreamland Studios in Mumbai. He was seen being forced into a van by Shivan and Jadseep Dami. This confirms my suspicions. The assassins must be using Jatsura's genetic memories to locate the Kohinoor. I have authorized the local Abstergo soldiers to engage and eliminate the assassins, with instructions that the Brahmin device must be kept intact. I am en route to India. Update, November 4th, 2013. I arrived in India too late. Our strike team engaged the assassins in two separate conflicts. The body of Siobhan Dami was found at the first site, but her remains were too badly damaged in an explosion to collect any genetic information. I found the Brahmin device at the second site, but after reviewing the genetic memories recorded within, I am relieved to find that Jatsura's bloodline was a dead end. The real Kohinoor diamond remains lost to both sides. Jatsip Dami escaped which means we must monitor this new assassin activity in India closely. I am closing this file and proceeding to my next mission. Okay, interesting. Two more to go. Let's have a look. Where is this bleeding tablet? Come on. Right, no terminal on that. Where are you? You're playing tricks on me. I know you're in here somewhere. Where is it? Definitely isn't in here. Hmm. Switch office over here. Okay. Um, find a among find a thaw among scattered magazines and books. But did we check inside this one? We didn't. And that's where it is, obviously. <laughs> okay, number nineteen. All right, sweet. Is that done? And that computer's not on, so that must mean everything we need now is back out on this side. Lovely jubbly. Should just nicely take us up to the end of our episode. Uh, okay, whereas right, so the tablet is next to a printer on the west side of the wall. Oh, there it is. That's the last tablet. Uh, and that's a clue to the hidden set of pistols, I believe. So I'll make sure to remember that. That's in Sleepy Hollow, if I'm not mistaken. And that was number 16, so... I'll make sure to read through that. Okay. Um, is there anything else on the tablet? Got some messages. Not sure which ones are new. Hmm. Let's pause and read if you're interested in any of these. I'm sure we read some of those before. But apparently not. 
a diary as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's got a computer over here. Let's hack into. There we go. Nice and easy. Cool. Speak. Why has Viola de Costa been removed from Sigma Team? I'm reassigning our assets as I see fit to align with the goals of the Phoenix Project. The Phoenix Project? Sigma Team would be of more use hunting down the remaining assassins. Let Delta Team hunt Precursor Relics instead. Those relics are the key to sequencing first civilization DNA. Accomplishing that goal will in turn make the assassins even less of a threat than they are now. Be that as it may, Agent Acosta should not be wasted on something like Abstergo Entertainment. Last year's fiasco with the Sample 17 project showed me that Abstergo Entertainment is more than just a disposable subsidiary. It's the best resource we have to finding new pieces of Eden. It is a weak link that has been compromised by our enemies time and time again. All the more reason to have to cause to secure their access to the cloud servers. We're confident that Melanie LeMay won't fuck it up, like Olivier Garneau. Bringing a civilian like that into our ranks is also unwise. Time will tell with Miss LeMay, but she handled the John Standish situation with an even hand. She helped us discover the existence of sages, and in doing so, has done more for Phoenix than you have, Mr. Berg. She also continues to ignore the presence of the instruments of the First Will within her operation. Those whack jobs are actually useful to us for now. They're a cheap source of relics we can exploit. If they become too much of a problem, we'll deal with them with the same efficiency we deal with the Assassins. Giving the Assassins time to regroup is a tactical mistake. We should strike them now while they are at their most vulnerable. We value your passion and expertise, Mr. Berg, and your concerns have been noted. Now pack your bags. You've got a busy year ahead of you. Interesting. Okay, so where's this last computer then? It's not on air, is it? Oh, we missed a computer in that room. How did we do that? I'm sure we checked them all. That is confusing, but at least it's actually on this floor. It wasn't on this one, was it? No. Oh, there you are. You cheeky swine. At least it's an easy one. Say that. There we go. <laughs> Our last computer. Let's wrap up this sucker. Details of Harlan T. Cunningham's life were difficult to acquire, as many traces of his identity before becoming an assassin were altered or erased by Gavin Banks. It is only thanks to Agent Acosta's remarkable skills that we are able to piece together this profile. Cunningham was outed as homosexual in high school, which unfortunately ruined a promising wrestling career. He left Texas as quickly as he could, and fled to Europe. Cunningham was recruited by the Brotherhood in Florence, Italy, under the leadership of assassin veteran Adriano Maestranzi. Sigma team attacked the Florence hideout in 2012, but Maestranzi detonated a bomb. Three assassins were killed before the explosion, but Sigma team was annihilated in the process. Cunningham and I were the only survivors. Cunningham was last sighted in Rotterdam, alongside Aaron Schutt, a former mixed martial arts champion who also suffered a career backlash when he came out as homosexual. It is clear that Cunningham is mentoring Schutt in the ways of the Brotherhood. Although physically gifted and extremely dangerous, Schutt is a poor choice as an assassin. 
is incapable of keeping a low profile and will compromise the Brotherhood despite himself. Recently, Cunningham stole a piece of Eden from an Abstergo facility in Rotterdam. During the operation, Shoot was charged to attack Abstergo employees throughout the city to draw attention away from his mentor. Although Sigma T managed to reclaim the item, both Cunningham and Schutt escaped. I will not allow Cunningham to get away from me a third time. Bum, bum, bum. All right, that does it, ladies and gentlemen. That is all the computers repaired, all the tablets collected. Bob's your uncle, Fanny Duran. The last time we'll be in Abstergo, ever. Unless they decide to bring it back in a future game for some random reason. Once you go back to finish Shay's story, your life is never going to be the same afterwards. You should finish any outstanding business before entering your animus. Thank you for subtly suggesting that I managed to do everything. Can you not exit to Abstergo once you've done this? Maybe not. Okay, well you could in AC4, but you can't this time. But we've done everything we need to anyway, but we're going to be ending the episode here and finishing up Shay's story in the next episode, although it won't be the finale, we're going to have to do one more episode after that so we can finish up all the post-game stuff. But that is what we're going to end for today. Before we wrap up, let me thank my amazing patrons, my five pound plus patrons are Ron Hyler and Ever the Snake. You can find links to their channels as well as my other three pound plus patrons in the description down below. And on screen you'll see credit to my one pound plus patrons. Thank you so much everyone. It's truly appreciated and it goes a long way to help with the channel, so I do thank you a lot for that. And if you should join those patrons, you can follow the link in the description down below to my Patreon page. But you don't have to do that because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to share the video. And I will see you guys in episode 37. Bye guys. Everything